Hi there. I recently did a really short video just showing how to remove and put back on a Dykes piston ring onto, uh, onto one of my glow engines. And I've just finished cleaning up this lovely old Sato 91 that had, had quite a hard life even though it's a, a low runtime engine. And this has got a conventional piston ring which is just set down from the top of the, the piston as opposed to the Dykes which is around the very rim and I thought I'd do a, a quick video just showing again how easy and simple it can be to take the piston ring off and on and, uh, and this time as I say with a conventional, uh, conventional piston ring so I mean it can be quite a daunting process if you're not used to it because they very brittle and they're, they're easy to break if you, uh, if you get it wrong so take a look at this this piston ring is a conventional piston ring that just sits in a groove uh, set down from the top of the piston. I recently did one showing how to remove a Dykes piston ring which is actually L-shaped and, and sits around the top. So I thought I'd do this one just to show how to do it with a conventional, conventional ring. Now the trick with these is with, this ring is quite loose so you need to make sure that your ring is loose. If it's stuck in and you start pulling it you're going to break it. Now we can see the gap in the ring here so what we want to do is with our thumb we want to hold that one side of the ring against the uh, the piston. So hold it into the the, the actual uh, the, the slot, the groove. Now and finger there as well just to so we keep this half of the ring actually into the uh, into that slot and then with our nail and a bit of pressure on here as well we don't want to pull the whole of the ring out we just want to tease this front bit of the ring out and then gradually let the pressure off with our index finger here and you can see now that has just lifted the ring out now what we need to do is just work that up and around so you can see that is coming off now nice and gently and this is just working over the top but now we don't want to open that anymore we just want to push the ring around like that to get it off there we go nice and nice and simple Oops, still got the last bit to come. There we go. So there we have the ring and the piston. I'm now going to clean that up and, uh, and we'll put it back on. Right, well now let's get this ring back onto the, uh, onto the cleaned up piston. You can see here I've put the ring in a, a small bag where it can't turn over and just put top. So I know which way is the top and which way is the bottom of the ring. Does it make a difference? I don't know, probably not, but I would rather put it back on the same way up that it came, just in case there's anywhere, although this is a very low runtime engine. So, let's get the, uh, get the ring out of the bag. Right, so we have the ring out, and uh, correct way up. Now, the trick here is to get the ring and to just locate it into the groove and then hold our finger there and we can just ease this around like this and when it's gone about halfway around oops just going out of camera shot we just need to make sure that this has slipped in as the as it goes round and more goes in the angle's better for it to slot down into that groove and you can see the the first I don't know 10 percent of the ring has gone in so now we need to keep that tight with the thumb and then just move this around and you, we can see a little bit more go, has gone into the, uh, into the groove and now what we need to do is just lift this out with our thumbnail and, uh, and drop it down into the ring if we work this all the way around now it probably will go in but it will scratch the piston which we don't want so we're just going to use our thumb and lift that down there into the slot and you can see that's gone in really easy and uh, and rotates quite nice now so there we go simple as that 